You think this is the first time that group of clowns is trying to reunite? But still been the same. There was that one time they almost reunited, but Roxy drank a whole bunch of ass, and right before we went on date, just spent the whole night's break. Some lady with huge tits in the front row with a big spray thing, and they didn't even play one song. Cancel. Then there was that one time they were supposed to reunite, but Roxy the night before spun like 20 condoms worth of cocaine into his intestines. Then he ate some super spice face kit food, and the cop was melted in the OD, and he couldn't perform. Cancel. There was that one time they were about to reunite, and they like, Roxy will borrow $20 million from the next drug cartel and like gives our money back he's like no i can't give you your money back he's like well you're gonna shoot me he's like well fine shoot me and they shot him and now he pees out of the side of his dick and uh they canceled the show so that's what i heard oh what's this place called this is i believe it's called food library food, food library, library. hey grandpa is your olives in it in what lemon cut wrinkled tits Guess what? You are a gene milf. That is a grandmother that I would like to. Uh, don't you look inside of your basket. Guess what? You are seeing such a crappy move. You have ladies' tampons on the side of it. Have you buy the photo shop? Go have a conversation with all the ladies and tell them your problem. You lady squish car. No, it's not! There have been power struggles between the various kingdoms. With a predominant question posing most central belt Scots, even to this very day, which comes in many forms. And that question is... What are you? A Billy or a Dan? To some extent this has always been the case, like there's always been YouTubers who have really big audiences and those audiences don't translate to people who would show up for an event or buy merch or support them on another thing just because like they're more into the thing they make than the person themselves. But this is definitely more of a thing on TikTok. I think a big part of it is that you don't choose what to watch. So you have to sort of like be fed their content and you aren't fed their content unless it's extremely popular. So the stuff that is like a little bit, just like a little bit less engaging because they're talking about a live show they're doing or because they're talking about themselves rather than their content, rather than like some epic story or some really good, like you can do it on TikTok. I've seen people do it but it's a lot harder and I think that that is a function of the fact that every view is algorithmic and there's no human choice that goes into what I actually want to watch versus what I want to keep watching. Do not cast pearls before swine. And what that means is that if people are not listening to you, stop talking to them. That is the best piece of advice that I can give you. And what happens is, is that if you stop talking to people who aren't listening to you, and start watching them instead, they will tell you what they're up to. But so if you have things to say, say them, but you find people that will listen, talk to them. The ones who aren't listening, pull back, because you're, you're devaluing what you have to say by offering it to an audience that does nothing but reject it.